and Michelle is here from Lamers Dairy to show us how easy it is. Good morning, good, good to morning. see you. Good morning, how are you? Thank you for having us. Oh, absolutely. So this is one of those things, I think once you get into the swing of it, you do it all the time and it's just no big deal. But I think people are nervous about trying it and um, you know, it's easy, just watch. And, and this is a great way to you know, make homemade mac and cheese, homemade absolutely. cream soup, so many different things that you can do with it. Right, you never have to buy another can of cream of chicken soup or cream of mushroom soup once you know how to make a roux, so very, very true. simple. Okay, so we're making a homemade chicken pot pie. You can just, um, basically we're uh, melting some butter. We've got some butter that's melted in a big skillet. And right, we're gonna add some leeks. Okay. And that's gonna give it some great flavor. Absolutely. It's, the leek is in the onion family, so it's a little bit um, gentler flavor mm -hmm. than an onion. You can substitute an onion if you don't have a leek. And we're basically going to put that in and soften it a little bit, sweat it up a little bit. Okay. So we want to um, cook this so that it's soft. We want to make sure we don't color it. We want to make sure our butter doesn't color. In fact, we might want to turn it down just a bit. You bet. Um, do you have some salt, Amy, that I, I could sure put on do. here? The salt, salt and pepper? Uh, absolutely. And okay. the salt, what the salt does is it helps the cooking process. It helps soften it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Pepper too, or just the salt? Um, just the salt okay. at this point. Okay. We'll season it with some pepper as we get the roux going. Okay. But basically, if you want to make um, cream soups, um, mac and cheese, you don't necessarily use the leeks, mm -hmm. but you do the butter, and then you would, um, we're gonna add some flour and cook that off. Make sure that we cook the flavor out of the, or excuse me, the dryness out of the flour. And then we're going to add a liquid, and classically you add um, in the case of our chicken pot pie, we're going to add um, chicken stock, and that will be make it a velouté. Um, but if we were going to make mac and cheese, we would add all milk, mm -hmm. and then from that we would um, add cheese. So we're just waiting for those to, to, to cook just down a little bit. a little bit, right? So and we can go ahead and start adding our flour if we want. You bet. In the meantime, we'll just reserve a little bit so we don't we don't want it too floury. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna want to mix this and get it smooth and bubbly. Okay. You can add a little bit of pepper at this point if you, you want bet. to, that'd be great. It's always that delicate balance where you don't want the sauce too thick, right. but you don't want it too right. thin too. Right. And what I have going on over here too, and we can turn this down a little bit, okay. is I have um, some carrots. I have three carrots that have been sliced and two stalks of celery and then what I like to do, my uh, mother-in-law is French, and she taught me this trick, is that basically I add a little bit of the celery leaf that will give some of the um, flavor, a little bit more gentler flavor, and then cut a piece of parchment, put a little bit of, put some water, about um, a half inch, and then put um, a parchment directly on it, bring it to a boil, and then when it starts to boil, turn it down, excuse me, turn it down a bit uh -huh. a little, and then let it just go till it's tender. Okay. And then that just is gonna keep the heat right in there, that right little bit there. of parchment paper. Exactly, now this is starting to, we don't want this to color, otherwise we'll get a brown roux, and we want a blonde roux here. So we're ready to add some stock okay. to that, and what we're gonna do is add a cup and a half of chicken stock, and the chicken stock will give us a little bit more intensity than the um, chicken broth, and I like to go with a low sodium. So what we're going to do is we're going to add that and start whisking, and that'll start to thicken up. You bet. And then we're going to want to add some of our wonderful Lamer's milk. And you know, Amy, sometimes it's just as important what you don't put in a recipe. If Lamer's milk is all RBGH free, it and also local, which is wonderful. Local. It's um, actually all the farms are with 20 miles of the dairy, and they're all local family farms. I love the fact that they come in a glass bottle. Oh, I do too, it's sustainable. We're gonna wanna let this just start to thicken up a bit too. Okay. We'll add some milk to it and get that thick. And I like to add a splash of cream, which is completely optional, but it's... Um, Makes it extra good. Cream is good. <laughs> yeah. And the Lamer's cream is amazing. It's really Thank the good you. stuff. About a quarter cup. And actually what is really nice too is if you turn the ingredients around, milk and cream, that's it. So again, <laughs> it's RBGH free and it's also, um, no preservatives or gums or anything else in it. I'm just gonna take a peek at our, do you wanna check and see if our vegetables are tender there? And they look like they're just about perfect. 
Yeah, if you want, great. We're going to want this to thicken up a little bit. We okay. might turn this up yes. just a bit. Yes. Let you get that. And then you've got the pie crust. Uh, you I can do. make your own or just buy a pre-made pie crust. Exactly. You talk about easy as one, two, mm -hmm. three. A prepared pie crust is absolutely an easy way to go. If you have time, you can make the homemade. That's, mm -hmm. again, another thing great to do with your kids. But if you're in a pinch, actually, you can make all of this ahead of time and keep it in the fridge and then just come home, put it in the pie crust and bake it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Good idea. It can be very easy to do. So this is starting to thicken a little bit. Great. And I see you've got some... Um, We've got a two and a half cups of, or two cups of chicken. Okay. Yeah, that's not quite thick enough. We want it kind yep. of... Yep, we're getting there. Yep, and it just, our burner's taking its good old time. Oh, okay. While we're waiting for this to, to do its thing, um, you know, you can get Lamer's milk at many of the area grocery stores. Right. I know Festival Foods carries it, but you also can stop by and pick it up right there. You've got a store with all sorts of great items. Um, for the holidays, yes. you're doing gift boxes and do. cheese and sausage baskets, all sorts of things. We do. We have a great selection of cheese boxes and gift baskets. Um, we also have um, hundreds of local products because we are a local business. We try to support other local businesses and also Wisconsin made products. So we do have hundreds of different products. So we can put together custom baskets. We can, you can buy cheese baskets that are already prepared. We can really do um, anything for you. And we have our great eggnog at this time of year, Ooh. which is delicious. Ooh. We're gonna be doing something with that soon. Um, but we have gift coordinators that can help you put anything together. And they do the shipping for you, which is yeah, great. Right. I love to send uh, cheese baskets to my friends who don't live in Wisconsin, and I always say, you know, a little taste of Wisconsin. Um, and you don't have to wait in line. They'll do yeah, it for that's you. that's wonderful. So. so this is thickening up perfectly. Great. Should we add our vegetables and yes. our chicken? We can start doing that. Okay. We have um, some peas. This is a cup of peas. Um, you can use frozen peas. I like to just... Um, cook them a little bit, steam them a bit before, and okay. then we can add our other vegetables. Now, there was some liquid in it. Yes. I would um, drain that liquid. Okay. Sometimes, depending on my sauce, I will use some of that liquid sure. because it has that delicious taste right. of the vegetables in it. And we can also discard the the celery leaf, too, if we want. Okay. But just grab that mm -hmm. as it goes out. That's a great tip, though, because it does have so much flavor. Well, my mother-in-law in France never wasted anything, so <laughs> she would... Also, um, she would use the, the celery leaf, and also, um, instead of parchment, she would use the butter wrapper. So you can do that at home, too. So we'll go ahead and add the chicken. And then this goes into our, our pie crust. It's going to go crust. right into our pie crust. I'll pull that over here for you. And then we're going to top it off. With and you, another crust? That's right. And into the oven this goes. We're running out of time. Uh, so okay. basically, once you get that other crust on top, you just want to um, seal it and create some um, air vents, and then you're good to go. Oh, it looks fantastic. And we should have one that's ready. Oh, and, and again, and bubbly, as I, and wow. Oh, good. Oh, this Great. looks absolutely fantastic, Michelle. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amy. Lamer's Dairy, right off, uh, you're right off the highway 441, there. 441. 441. CE exit, that's right. All right, we'll be back. Stay with us with some more fun recipes. We're making crepes, and they're not all that hard to do, so stay with us.